Okay, today as we compare whole numbers, it's actually a pretty simple thing. All you need to do is start at the lowest value that they have when we're comparing whole numbers. The lowest value is the ones place that we learned in place value. So we'll line up the numbers by the ones column. So that means that every single one, whether it's a 9, a 7, or a number ending in a 6, if we line them up according to the ones place, then everything else will line up as well. So these bigger numbers We notice as we line them up according to the ones place, the commas line up as well. And then, we just, once we've lined it up, we just start from the biggest and go to the smallest. Why do we care about ones and tens and just hundreds if we're talking 20,000? So we won't worry about those if they're lined up so that we're comparing the same thing. Every single digit here is the ones place. If we're off a little bit, and we try to do 21,316 versus 24,567. And I'm right here. This ones isn't lined up with anything. And then I'm comparing these two sixes. Six ones versus six tens. And it just messes us up. So we don't want to worry about that at all. We want to cover our bases and line it up according to the ones place. Then we just come over, oh, they all have 20,000. 20,000 what? 21,000, 4,000, or 1,000. We automatically know that 4,000 is going to be bigger than 1,000 in everybody's world. Okay, so if we were to order them completely, we'd know that that one's the biggest. And then the second, oh, they both have 1,000. They both have 20,000, they both have 1,000. And then hundreds place, 800 versus 300. So I know that this one is next, and that one comes last. Also remember, just as a side note, each whole number has a decimal place associated with it. They just don't need to show it because they're whole numbers. But it's right after the one's place. So as we get into comparing not just whole numbers, but numbers with decimals, if you remember that each whole number does have a decimal, it follows the one's place, then you can line up the decimals because that's how we compare decimals, numbers with decimals. In fact, let's do that right now, comparing whole numbers and decimals. We've lined up the decimals. That's all we need to do. Really, that's it. So we line up the decimals, and then if there's anything on this side, oh look, all of those. Each of these numbers means a whole number and a portion of a whole number. If it is anything past a decimal point, it will never reach one whole number. It could be 9999999999999 on forever, and it won't equal one whole because of the place values. They get bigger coming this way. One whole will always be bigger than anything tenths, not one whole. Okay, thank you.